Wah! All right, February 22nd, 2024. We are at uh, one side of the Rootburn track, the Divide Shelter, over on the Milford Sound side out of Tianu. Uh, had a long drive over from Queenstown this morning, but we're gonna run Rootburn track. Always wanted to do this one. Got a car shuttle service, moving our car around. Cause it's point to point, about 20 miles, 32 Ks. 5,000 feet of climbing, uh, 1,600 meters about. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy the track, see the views. Let's get out there. Started from the highway. Look at this. <laughs> All right, so we're doing this trail kind of backwards. Uh, a lot of people do it point to point from the Queenstown side at uh, Rupert Shelter to the Divide Shelter, but the way the car switch worked today, we're doing it this way. And there's a lot of truckers that stay in huts overnight, make it a two or three day hike, multi-day hike, a lot of day hikers as well, but great track and it's rolling downhill already. We had that great waterfall after a kilometer and still in the woods, but getting bigger views Two miles in, 3.2k in. I think we're going across that bridge. Beautiful day, shaping up. <clears throat> Look at this. Wow. That's a tall waterfall. Nice. On these washed out bits, it's actually surprisingly technical. You gotta watch your step because there's slippery moss and washed outs erosion uh, from all the rain, but a lot of roots. Speed goats were a good choice today for me. Oh, my quads are feeling it though. Whew. About seven miles in going this way. Looks like we came upon a hut. It's a Mackenzie hut. That's actually the Mackenzie hut. Steep switchbacks here, heading up towards the pass, I think. Still see the hut way down there. Heck of a run. A bit over halfway going this direction. Oh wow, still got this great view. <laughs> going up to the highest point, I believe. Highest climb. We've already climbed quite a bit, so. This way, uh, not complaining about the views on the Surge Line Trail. It's great, beautiful day. Steep climb, 
some stairs towards Harris Settle. <laughs> Be a hut up there. Yeah, we can just stay on this side. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, just so you're as far away as possible. <laughs> okay. Got a little bit of a helicopter delivery, so we're hanging out here at the shelter. Oh yep. up to the highest point, Harris Saddle, I believe, and all downhill to the finish. About seven more miles, eight, I don't know, exactly. All right, coming up on another building here. I don't know if this is a hut. I'll find out. Rupert and Falls hut. Yeah. Oh man, this one swings a bit. Ooh, <laughs> a little hairy. Finishing up, last 5k here. Last couple miles or so. It's a nice trail, pretty smooth and wide. Easier to pass trekkers. Nice valley. Down to the Rootburn Shelter on the Glenorchy Queenstown side. Hopefully we'll get there soon because my quads are totally blown out. Whew. Encountered a lot of these today. Huh. Last mile or so, 2k. I decided to take the nature walk path, a little more scenic. It goes out by the river. Connects back though to the root burn shelter, so almost done. Final bridge, I see the flat. Our root burn shelter. Finish it off. Great line. I believe that's the root burn shelter. We did it. Yeah. Thanks. Sandy had to drag me a little over five hours, 20 miles, 32k. Check the vert on that, had a helicopter delay. Took a lot of good media, hopefully, so you guys can enjoy. Thanks for subscribing, liking these videos. It really helps us out a lot. Check out our train plans at Higher Running. It's higherrunning.com, so train plans for any surface, any distance. So, really appreciate all the support and hope to see you out on the roads or trails uh, later this year. I got a whole schedule to announce. So, really appreciate the Patreon supporters for all their uh, support too, as well as title sponsor Hoka, Camelback, Spring Energy, you name it. Like and subscribe. Thanks again. Stay tuned for more of Vip Productions.